Hey, I wanted to do a quick video about how to actually get a job after a PhD and dealing with a job market because I know lots of people are thinking about that at this moment. So if you don't know me, I'm Professor Dave Matt. The first thing to remember with the job market, I know lots of you are probably stressing out at, at, at this moment in terms of the job market and getting an actual job after you've gone through all this graduate school and you put in all this work and you're super talented. I want you to remember, don't give up on yourself. It's really, really important for you to have faith in yourself and that you will carry forward with the thing that you're actually doing and that you know that you're a decent human being that actually is trying and doing everything that they possibly can at this moment. So don't ever give up on yourself. That's the most important thing that you will do in the job market and that's going to play out in what you actually do. So the first thing that I want you to sort of think about is deciding whether you actually want to stay in academia or go to industry. Both of them are equally good. Um, although, you know, in when you're in graduate school, there's sort of there is this huge strong emphasis to stay in academia. But, you know, don't ever sort of listen to that. Listen to who you are as an individual and stay true to who you are as an individual. But I want you to sort of make this decision very rationally and actually rank order the decision of what you're trying to do. You know, do those things like pros and cons, actually going through and making some sort of decision checklist where you're trying to capture everything that you want to do and sort of forecast what you're going to go um, do. Then gather information. Actually, that's the important thing. It's actually really gather some real information about all these different things. We have all this sort of make-believe stuff that's going on in our brain, but we don't necessarily gather that information. So this is the important trick that I think is going to help you in terms of the, uh, you know, especially the industry job market and in understanding that is to actually start going and asking inter and interviewing industry folks that are in your area. So I would even go as far as actually doing like a podcast or do like a LinkedIn show or um, whatever, where you're actually interviewing different people that are in that industry area. That way you get this excuse to actually talk to people um, and people are gonna be wanting to actually have that conversation with you. So you just have to go through and you just say during the interview I'm looking, often you're gonna find something and it's just about sort of positioning yourself in terms of doing that. So if you wanna get into nanotechnology, for example, go and interview people that are in industry that are doing nanotechnology and create a podcast around nanotechnology. Um, you know, if you're interested in Silicon Valley, do a podcast. It's gonna be a little bit more crowded in that space, but you know, if you did Silicon Valley, um, uh, manufacturers of, 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 you know, circuitry or something like that that is very specific and you st just start doing a podcast and interviewing people in that industry and just like putting it out there, whether it's a podcast or whether it's a YouTube show or whatever, you're going to find a position very quickly if you just say, you know, this is part of, of my process of actually um, you know, learning about the industry. I'd love to, to, to learn more about it and get into it. Now you can kind of do the exact same thing in academia. It's a little trickier though to, to sort of navigate some of those things because a lot of academics are probably not gonna be as open about what you're trying to do. But um, what I would recommend in those circumstances, in, in both circumstances, is just not giving up on yourself and really doing things that are kind of like guerrilla warfare where you're gonna sort of persist in terms of applying to different positions. So if you wanna go to academia, really just start applying like crazy, right? Like don't be afraid to apply to a hundred different positions. Don't be afraid to just apply everywhere and look for that position that sort of fits who you are as an individual and as a person. You can get those positions, you just have to be very strategic about them. The other thing, so if you're doing the academic thing, you have to keep building your skill set and continuing to work on great ideas. So you might even go so far as you know, um, volunteering your time to work on different ideas with people that are in the industry 
or you know the the perfect way to do this is actually work on a paper and develop a paper so maybe you spend three weeks or a month developing this paper and then send it off to somebody that is you know more senior and 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 see if they'll they'll bite and if they don't bite you know you wait a, a week or so then you go to the next person you go to the next person i know it's a long sort of journey but that's what you're looking for somebody to actually bite and then you can sort of establish this this status or you know this um, prestige of of working with this this person. But that also gets you an in to you know all sorts of different positions. You can see how it's just very much like thinking about what are people doing and where they're going, and really just taking a dive into that, where you are really immersing yourself and being serious about either one of those things. Um, now. I know that some of you are really like desperate to find a job in terms of you, you need to eat, right? Like that's important. Don't be afraid to take a crappy job someplace or a job that you believe is below you. I mean, that's to that. You have to do what you have to do. And if you need to get something to eat, well, by all means, do that thing that you need to eat with. And so you can spend all of your nights and weekends working towards getting that that position that you really want to do right so you can go and um you know deliver pizzas at night for example and do really well with that with tips or you know babysitting or you know lo mowing lawns on the weekends or doing whatever going and um you know selling things on ebay i know it's a little bit more time consuming but you know all of those kind of things where you're being just very practical where you can spend a good maybe six hours of your day or whatever doing things that are related to where you actually want to go so i know some of you are probably wavering whether i want to go to industry or academia i don't know what to do you have to sort of make that happen and make that decision and just be serious about that so like in graduate school or doing your phd doing your your research it's a lot about you just pushing forward that's what you got to do you just have to have that confidence to push forward and not stop and don't stop believing in yourself. And once you have that, then you can start doing these cool things like, you know, if I wanna go into industry, I'm gonna do a podcast or I'm gonna do a YouTube show about this particular industry. I'm just gonna like start interviewing people and being okay with the fact that I don't have a job um, and just being confident with the fact that I'm just gonna email them and I'm gonna email like 100 people to find a space for this YouTube show on my journey towards finding a job in this particular career. I mean, how cool is that? Everybody think of that that would be very amazing. You could do that on Twitter or whatever, where you're actually trying to go towards the thing that you want to get into. So you want to get into Wall Street? I mean, start documenting your, your journey of getting into Wall Street, of how you actually want to actually get there. And you start interviewing people and doing things. You go to New York and you start walking around and you just start being that person where you're looking for something and trying to get to this certain um, spot. Nobody does that, nobody does that. But that would be an amazing effort to do those things. So the same thing with, with academia, you start like pitching ideas and you start moving forward, but you have to do the work. You actually have to do that work and get there before people are gonna start paying attention to you. Because everybody is trying to, um, they're trying to look for outs or easy ways in, in academia. And don't be that person to do that. Actually do the work and, and put in the time and effort to get there. So if you like this video on how to actually get a job after a PhD, this should be very helpful for you. Just keep keep going and don't 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 ever give up on yourself. You're pretty amazing. You're remarkable, and you can do this. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.